Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be clearing the radicals from a radical expression. This is a very radical expression and there are four variables, x, y, z, and w. Obviously, you can replace these with numbers and I can kind of show you, uh, you know, a couple different applications for this. But our goal here is to clear the radicals, which means we're going to get rid of all the radicals here by doing a series of operations, by doing some algebraic manipulations. In other words, we are going to rationalize the whole thing. You know how we rationalize denominators? If you have like, for example, square root of 2 plus square root of 3 at the bottom, you multiply by the conjugate, so on and so forth. But we don't have a fraction here. We do have a radical expression, and we're going to get rid of all the square root symbols, all the radicals. Great. Let's start by squaring both sides. All right. So I'm going to square both sides here. Obviously, that should be an obvious first step because, well, maybe not that obvious because sometimes people may want to put two radicals on either side and that way you could also put it. I didn't test it out, but I guess that would be an interesting method to look into. Anyways, I'm going to square both sides. And as you know, a plus b plus c quantity squared, there is a formula for that. Let me review that for you real quick. Some people complain, they say that I've talked too fast. So I'm going to try to slow down. So a plus b plus c quantity squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2 times the quantity ab plus ac plus bc. Great. If you apply this formula to our expression, we're going to get the following. We're going to get x plus y plus z from the squares. The second part is not that nice. We're going to have to multiply some radicals, which is going to give us a radical expression. So a, b is going to be like square root of x, y, and then the square root of x, z, and then the square root of y. This also reminds me of the Vieta's formulas. I think there was a problem we solved using Vieta's formulas. There's also a, another version of this problem. I believe it's a simpler one we, we've done recently. I'll also link it down below. Anyway, so the right hand side is nice because now we got rid of the radicals. We still have some radicals, so we would have to get rid of those as well. But before we do go any further, I would like to use substitution. You know, substitution is one of my favorite methods. And this expression right here, I would like to call that u. Okay, so u is equal to square root of xy plus square root of xz plus square root of yz. Great. So let's go ahead and write what it means. So now I have square root of xy plus square root of xz plus square root of yz equals u. That's u. All right. Now, we do have a radical expression. And why don't we just do the same thing that we've just done to both sides, which is squaring both sides. Let's go ahead and square both sides here. And again, using the exact same formula, but this time, of course, the outcome is going to be different because our radicals are kind of products, but it doesn't matter. Same thing applies. a squared, b squared, c squared, plus 2 times the quantity ab. So when you multiply square root of xy and square root of xz, notice that square root of x times square root of x is going to be x. Of course, here in this case, the variables are all positive. I forgot to say that, but you probably could assume that x, y, z, w are uh, greater than zero. Otherwise, we're going to be dealing with complex numbers. Anyways, so now when you multiply these, you're going to get x times the square root of y. So one of them is going to be cleared of radicals, and the others are just going to appear. So we're going to have the same pattern. So like it's going to be like y times square root of x, z, and then z times the square root of x, y. So it's kind of like symmetrical sort of or cyclical, whatever you want to call that. And that is equal to u squared. Awesome. Now, the expression inside the parentheses is still a radical, but guess what? It could be simplified. It could actually be factored. Let's go ahead and do that. And that's going to be fun because we're going to turn it into a nicer, much nicer radical. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and do that now. So my next step is going to involve, is going to involve taking out square root of x, y, z as a common factor because notice that every term inside the parentheses has that as a factor. So now when you take it out, for example, from the first one, take a look at this one. So when you take out square root of x, you're going uh, to end up with square root of x inside the parentheses. 
and of course square root of yz was already taken out so you're only going to have square root of x inside the parentheses hopefully that makes sense and then you're going to have square root of y and then you're going to have square root of z and hopefully that is familiar to you yes square root of x plus square root of y plus square root of z is actually equal to square root of wy because that is the very first expression we were given so i can safely say that hey this is equal to square root of w don't forget the radical sign but when you multiply these two radicals that's going to make a nicer radical let's go ahead and proceed and see what we get from here this gives us xy plus xz plus yz plus two times square root of x y z w we can combine them all equals u squared beautiful now we do have something about u something about u that u is equal to another radical expression so we're talking about squaring u here but don't worry we don't have to replace u with that yet because uh, we're going to come up with uh, actually something uh, something nicer but how do we do that let's take a look okay great so now Here's what I'd like to do. I want to go back uh, to my uh, original expression here where I substituted the u, so this one. So notice that I can write that equation without a radical. That's why I named that u. So this gives me the following. x plus y plus z plus, remember that the whole thing was called u here. So x plus y plus, y, x plus, y plus z plus to u that's the birthday song remember is equal to w right yay awesome now we got rid of all the radicals for now at least now here's what we're going to do from here since we have a u squared here i would like to replace it with something right so we can do the following we can replace u with something in the first expression in this one but let's go ahead and isolate u from here. So we can safely say that 2u can be written as w minus x minus y minus z. And if you divide both sides by 2, u can be written as w minus x minus y minus z divided by 2. So this is what I'm going to use to replace u with in this equation. So that's going to be my next step. And let's see what that gives us. Great. So now, from that equation, we have xy, we have xy plus xz plus yz, okay? And then plus 2 times the square root of xyz w, and that is equal to u squared. Remember, now we're going to replace u with w minus x minus y minus z divided by 2 quantity squared. We got rid of pretty much all the radicals except for the xyz w. And we're going to do that now. So let's go ahead and isolate that on one side of the equation. Like I would pick the left hand side. And the right hand side is going to give me the following. This u thing, remember, squared of course. Minus xy minus xz minus yz. Or you could put that in parentheses if you don't like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and square both sides one more time. Because I want to get rid of all the radicals. And that is going to give me the answer pretty much. Let's go ahead and square both sides. And that's going to give us the following. 4xyzw is equal to the square, uh, the, something squared. So that's going to be w minus x minus y minus z divided by 2 squared minus xy minus xz minus yz squared. And now if I multiply both sides by 1 fourth or divide both sides by 4, then I'm going to get the answer. So, and we're going to get rid of all the radicals. We already did, but, well, I guess you could leave it at that, but I want to leave the x, y, z, w. So I'm going to multiply both sides by one fourth, and that is going to equal this expression right here. And this means that we got rid of all the radicals, we cleared all the radicals. And obviously, there's uh, probably another way to do it, which you will let me know. Well, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.